I'm Ross Virginia. I direct the Institute of Arctic Studies at Dartmouth College and I'm a professor in the Environmental Studies program. I've been coming to Greenland for about 12 years now for research, for education, bringing students and trying to understand how this landscape is changing in the face of climate change. Greenland's at the front line of climate change. It's where change is happening more quickly. So we really need good science. We need evidence to indicate what is the contribution here. And if we take corrective actions um, and reduce human emissions from CO2, how does that feed back on the way this place works? There's so much great science in unraveling this story, but it's also very important to humanity to know what's gonna happen here. I think one place where the world should turn their attention is to the Arctic, where climate change is happening rapidly. The effects are not isolated to the Arctic, they affect the entire world. I'm Lauren Culler and I am research faculty in Dartmouth's Environmental Studies program. This is my 10th anniversary of working in Greenland. One of the amazing things about what we are doing here is we're doing both research and we're doing teaching, outreach, and education. They go hand in hand. Changing the lives of just a few students each year through time is the way that we're gonna build the human capacity to better understand climate change. JSEP is the Joint Science Education Project. It's designed to bring high school students from the US, Denmark, and Greenland together to have a shared science STEM experience. The key is two things. One is to learn to work in teams, to experience this environment, uh, but a big part of it is also to promote international understanding among young people. JSIP was an entry into the field of science for me. It was a chance to learn about a different culture and a different place than I'd ever been before. I'm Alex Stendahl. I'm a rising senior at Dartmouth College. Watching Alex grow as a person, as a scientist, has been one of the most gratifying things you can imagine. Here's a person that became interested in Greenland, but she's now committed to Greenland. She's doing real research here. She will publish her results. She's become a scientist. And I think JSEP and Dartmouth together have provided that environment for her and she had the natural talent and drive and interest to make the most of it. We have support from the National Science Foundation to bring up high school students and also Dartmouth graduate students, but then we also have support from Dartmouth to bring up undergraduates who kind of complete the team. My name is Rain Hutton. I'm a rising sophomore class of 2021 at Dartmouth College and I'm a research assistant in Ross Virginia's lab. Dartmouth has been really good to me this year. It's taken a little bit of luck and a lot of me applying myself, but it's ended in this and I never could have imagined it. I've seen the JSEP students get their hands on real science, maybe for the first time, which has been really cool and I think has opened my eyes to what an important experience it is. Where I live, it's pretty similar to Greenland as in we live off of the land and we depend on it for our economy and for our lives. My name is Ella Lubin and I am from Sitka, Alaska. And so seeing and learning about climate change as it pertains to places like this is really important to me personally because I know that I can bring back this knowledge to my community, which is also a really small town. There's only about 9,000 people in it. And I can share some of my knowledge and share some of the ways that other people around the world have adapted to it and mitigated it. We're really hopeful that this experience here carries forward in their lives. And we have good evidence of that. Students have been doing this program for nearly a decade, and they go on to do amazing things. I hope the JSEP students really value the connection they've made with their peers in this experience. I also hope that they're able to learn science about this beautiful place, become engaged, and in the future pursue science, whether it's Arctic science or not, but to really be able to take this love for the outdoors and the Arctic and take it to the next level. I think science is a really important part of the future and I think they're part of it. <laughs>